C-SPAN's local content vehicles are traveling the country as we look at some of the most closely contested House races leading up to this November's midterm elections. I think the second district race in Louisiana is worth watching for the rest of the country because there are only about four or five congressional districts in the country in which a Republican might lose his or her seat to a Democrat. Until Gal got in, this was the only district in the state that was held by a Democrat. Um, and it's easily the most Democratic district. It's the only district in the state with an African-American majority. So it appears tailor-made for Cedric Richmond. But Joseph Gao is not your typical Republican, and he is determined to make a race of it. The, the communities here are faced with the the everyday issues that we have, uh, especially uh, in our post-Katrina recovery uh, and now uh, post-oil spill recovery. The, the very same questions of, uh, you know, where can my children play? Uh, do my children have good schools? Uh, are there uh, needs uh, of the elderly that, that, we have not, uh, that we have not addressed? Guy was an attorney and a former Jesuit seminarian, very soft-spoken, not your typical Republican. He's not as um, strident as most Republicans out there. Richmond is talking about the fact that Gao voted against health care reform on the final vote, against the, uh, the bill that was represented equal pay for women, and against some other bills that are, are very much important to the Democratic constituency in the second district. And that's going to be the issue. I get a chance to fight for people who can't hire big time lobbyists. I get a chance to fight for people who are wronged by big business all the time. I get a chance to fight for people and tell corporations all the time, don't put profits first, put people first. Richmond is a state representative from the eastern part of, of the city, uh, a leader in the uh, legislative black caucus, a rising star in democratic circles, but according to Gao and some of Gao's sympathizers, he's got some baggage as well. Our city is struggling. Our children need hope, which makes Cedric Richmond's actions so disgraceful. Richmond funneled taxpayer money to a shady charity run by his girlfriend. Instead of the money helping kids, thousands went missing. Nothing new for Richmond. He had his law license suspended for lying under oath and was fined for ethics violations. Cedric Richmond, in it for himself, not for us. This is Joseph Gao, and I approve this message. It, it happened from an incident that occurred before Hurricane Katrina in the spring of 2005, but the discipline didn't come down from the state Supreme Court until after he ran against Bill Jefferson two years ago. So it seems fresh in the minds of some voters, but the actual incident is more than five years old. But it's going to, it's going to be used against them. Uh, he owns up to it, he doesn't run from it, but it's definitely going to be an issue. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make. I think the bigger issue in this race is, like everywhere else in America, is going to be Barack Obama. But this is a district in which Barack Obama will play very well. The city of New Orleans has had its trials, but you've also had great champions fighting to see you through the tough times. Cedric Richmond is one of those champions. From coaching and mentoring kids who grew up like he did, to passing tax credits to help New Orleans businesses get back on their feet after Katrina. Cedric's always been there, making a difference for the community. New Orleans needs Cedric Richmond in Congress, and so do I. I hope you'll give Cedric your vote. I'm Cedric Richmond, and I approve this message. Uh, the key, I think, for both candidates, once again, will be turnout. If we get a turnout that is proportionate regardless of whether the overall turnout is 30 percent or 50 percent or 90 percent. If the turnout is proportionate among black and white voters, Richmond should win this race. I say should win, I don't mean that in a judgmental way, I mean the numbers just favor him. Uh, you know, two-thirds party registration being Democrat, and you've got a minority of whites in the district who are solid liberal Democrats who probably will vote for the Democrat. So the race sets up well for Richmond, but there are some wild cards out there, like turnout. And if you're Gao, you want to turn out as many white votes as you can and get as much of, identify the black vote that you can get and make sure it turns out. And I think that's the game plan for both of these guys. 
C-SPAN's local content vehicles are traveling the country, visiting communities and congressional districts as we look at some of the most closely contested House races leading up to this November's midterm elections. For more information on what the local content vehicles are up to this election season, visit our website, cspan.org slash LCV.